stage, Robin. around the edges of tower blocks out across the lake. Liquid light pours and dances swing to the rhythm of the waves below, to and fro, cheek to cheek, and whispering secrets only lovers know. Pembroke's bright and distant stars tune up for the night's performance, an orchestra of diamonds set to play their greatest hits just one more time. And down below, birds grow quiet. Traffic stretches, slows, and sleeps. The last dog walks his owner and waves, hushed to the yawning shore. Light snuffs, light snuff out in high windows as the sky settles into dreams. And I rest my head gently on your shoulder as we sink into the night. Chicago is a show called Beast Women, and to all of you ladies out there, it celebrates women in the arts. It's music, it's dance, it's poetry, it's comedy, it's burlesque, it's anything and everything you can imagine. You have to audition to get in, <clears throat> um, and I'm a Beast Woman. That's the name of the show. So for you guys who've never heard it, check it out. We're going to be doing another show in August. You have to audition to get in, but definitely we need lots of young blood to come in and. Uh, and get into it. And about 100 women audition and they take about 30, 35. And everybody has to audition every single time. So as I said, Oz and I collaborated on a lot of stuff. We collaborated about 10 poems. And one of the poems we collaborated on um, for about three years ago, and I dusted it off. And I decided to use it for my beast woman. And so this has been beastified. Uh, it doesn't really have a name. Um, you can call it Clutter if you like. And Oz, this is for you. Okay, this is for you. He placed a box in the middle of the bed. The box is covered in blue satin because he thinks blue is her favorite color. Inside is a message that says, Mary, we share the space in between our fingers. Let's grow old together. The freedom in being alone. She prefers it that way. Space leaves wrists, I'm trying to do this from memory. Space leaves wrists and ankles exposed. I've given you two drawers and a quarter of a closet. Can that be enough? You see this bedroom. I guess, is that that kind of annoying? Okay. Kind of, you know, it's the new uh, It's the new thing. Imagine you're at weeds. At weeds, at, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes and imagine you're at weeds. Okay. I've given you two drawers and a quarter of a closet. Can't that be 
enough. This bedroom has become my own private sanctuary. Piles of books and clothes and reams of paper stand guard 24-7. No one is allowed entrance without first getting permission from me. I live inside this bedroom filled with clutter. Drawer spilling. Memory. <laughs> <laughs> Drawers filling memories and mementos, the special times now forgotten. Drawers bulging with birthday cards and half-written love poems and invitation to forgotten parties to keep me warm and safe. I swim inside this open void between heart and bone, boxes of yellow photographs with names I can't remember, crumpled cocktail napkins with names I can't recall. Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> you did a great job. I just can't remember it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the time. I swear to you, I'm sorry. It happens. Okay, I'm swimming in. I'm swimming in this lonely void between heart and bone. Boxes of yellowed photographs with faces I can't remember. Crumpled cocktail napkins with names I can't recall. Plaster, op plaster over these open wounds and hidden bruises. A quick fix for this loneliness. But lately, these things have become poor ciphers for living flesh, and I'm caught. Drowning in a sea of half rhyme sonnets, hold on. Old school books with knowledge I no longer use, I'm holding on, and that little black dress, always one size too small, I'm holding on. It's dragging me under, fingers reach to grip, I hold on. This clutter is my story. If I let go, will I disappear? Loneliness or sharing space, exchanging one pain for another. I don't know what is worse. But what if I could carve courage into hats, tear away the surge of dead words, shred memories into ash, sweep the remnants into a box, keep it on the shelf in the back of the closet for safekeeping? What if I could tear away old memory? What if I could tear away? What if I could rip old stories? into threads, turn threads into mulch, plant the remains in a space that has not seen light in decades. We could use our wrists as watering cans. The eyes on the back of our palms would stand guard, watching for something, for anything new to begin. There's validation in that. So the answers to your questions are these. Yes. Blue is my favorite color. Yes, the closet does seem half full. And yes, I think I can spare another drawer. And yes, I think, maybe, possibly, there is freedom in just saying yes. Woo! and poets out there, get yourself someone who doesn't live in this country and collaborate because you never know what you can come up with.